Hey, it's Kevin with DJK Homes. We're out here at our next EcoSmart home in Naperville, just starting our rough plumbing stage. As you can see here, we finished up our framing and everything's starting to come together. You'll see we have black windows installed, which is gonna complement that modern farmhouse style with a gray color scheme. We'll be installing a darker gray stone with light gray siding. Let's take a walk towards the house and look at some of the, some of the uh, construction techniques used. You'll notice that the entire home is wrapped in this blue product. What this is, is it's Henry Blue Skin. It's an airtight, watertight, and weathertight barrier for the home that's completely adhered to the face of the home in order to protect it from the elements. You'll see here, we also have our windows that are taped with a complete system up the sides below, and then we also have a sill pan on each window to avoid any water getting behind the wall system and down your windows. We'll take a walk around here and look at some of our insulation techniques. So behind our blue skin product, we have two inches of Dow rigid foam. What this does is it protects the whole home and insulates the whole home from the outside. When you just do insulation in the wall system, you're having thermal bridging through your studs um, and this foam basically takes that out of account. We'll take a walk around by the garage and show you some of the foam we're doing on the garage as well. We're now out back on the back side of the garage. You'll see here, we put an inch of Dow rigid foam on the exterior of the whole garage, just in order to insulate the garage a little bit better and allow the re residual temperatures from the cars to keep the garage warm. Beneath here, we'll be cutting this plate out. This will be the future um, area for our door, but you'll see we, here we have our sill seal that creates a gasket effect between the foundation and the bottom plate of your wall system. We'll also take a walk around here and we'll see that they're installing two inches of rigid dowel foam below the whole porch area, which will also get the blue skin material. This just shows you what goes on before the blue skin. Up top there, you'll see we have our Pella windows. These are the Pella Architect Series windows with a U-factor of 0.16 and a solar heat gain coefficient of 0.26 highly energy efficient windows. This is a south facing wall, so it's important to have very efficient windows. Um, and we'll also be working on the shading of the house with a trellis system to shade the house in the summer when the sun's high, but allow the natural sunlight to filter in through the windows in the winter time to heat the home with uh, solar heating technology. We're now gonna take you for a walk on the interior of the home, talk about some of our advanced framing techniques and new products going in the home. Let's take a walk inside. When building an eco home, one of the most important aspects is to reduce your framing lumber, increase your insulation in the wall system, and overall use better products for the home. You'll see here, all of our subflooring is done with Advantech. Uh, that product offers a couple benefits. A, when the house is being framed, it's very weather resistant and the water that, you know, if it rains, it's not going to affect the structural integrity of the floor. This floor also has reduced squeaks and has an extra benefit, it's SFI certified. So that's Sustainable Forestry Initiative. But that means it's just basically being forested in a sustainable way. We'll take you over here where we'll show you a two stud corner. It's really important to do your corners this way because it allows for a maximum amount of insulation within your corner and to avoid any cold spots or drafts in your home. We'll take a walk over here and look at some of our insulated headers. We're here in the mud room and what we have here is an example of how we insulate all the headers in every one of our homes. You'll see here we have two pieces of foam that are sandwiched in between our framing members in order to create an insulated header. Your typical header would just be a grouping of framing lumber sandwiched together, which is gonna create a cold spot in the wall system. You'll also see here that we have our Pella windows, um, which is a wood clad window. You'll see from the exterior, they're black aluminum on the exterior, but wood, which will be painted on the interior. 
We'll take a walk upstairs and look at some of our other products and framing techniques. We're now taking a walk upstairs to show you some of the advanced framing techniques that we use on the upstairs of the home. Um, currently, we're standing overlooking the great room on a large catwalk area. If you look straight up to the ceiling, you'll see that we have four large V-Lux skylights. These skylights are solar powered. Two of them are operable while two of them are fixed. All four of the skylights have shades on them that you can close, you know, to provide some darkness to the home. But the idea of this is to provide natural ventilation as well as natural lighting to the home. We'll take a walk over here um, in your first bedroom and see some of the insulation techniques we use to optimize the insulation within our spaces. This will be a window seat for this bedroom, but what we did here is we put two inches of foam sandwiched in between there to kind of break the thermal barrier and provide some insulation from the temperatures filtering up from below. We'll also cellulose this bench as well, as well as all the walls with five and a half, half inches of blown-in cellulose insulation. In these bathrooms here for the two bedrooms, we'll have what they call VLUX solar skylights or solar sun tunnels. What those do is they filter the light from the roof down into the rooms, eliminating the need to use your, nat your traditional lighting during the daytime and therefore saving on your power bill and helping the environment a little bit. We'll take a walk down this hallway and check out some more of our framing techniques. In this room, once again, you'll see our advanced framing techniques with our two stud corners. And also once we get to it, I'll show you what they call ladder blocking as well. Ladder blocking is where you have two walls meeting. You block it in order to fit uh, adequate amount of insulation in there and prevent any cold spots in your wall system. We'll take a walk over and show you the master bedroom. We're out here on the catwalk to the foyer walking towards the master bedroom. You'll see here we have a grand two-story foyer. This open space that you see here will be our U-shaped staircase that will be put in. Um, to kind of give that grand effect to the foyer. As we walk in the master bedroom, we're walking on Sustainable Forestry Initiative certified Advantec flooring. We try to source a lot of our lumber from sustainable locations. Um, you'll also see that a lot of our 2x6 and 2x4 walls are SFI certified as well. Um, what we have up on the roof is your zip wall system, which is all SFI certified as well. We'll take a walk here in the master bedroom, show you a little bit about the layout and then also talk a little bit about the ladder blocking we spoke of earlier. Here in the master bedroom, large vaulted ceiling. This will be the location for the master bed with an area, the, a raised area behind here for a treadmill and seating area. You'll notice we got some round windows in here as well as your entry to your, your privatized screen room area off the back side of the home. Over here, I'll show you an example of what they call ladder blocking. You'll see here we have two walls dying into each other and ladder blocking here so we're able to spray insulation behind this instead of butting a wall you know to your two by four and having an area with no insulation. As we speak right now actually out the window you can see the DNP recycling truck collecting our dumpster which will recycle over 75% of the construction waste from this project. We're now around the back side of the home where we're going to take you on a quick flight above the home to show you our solar layout, our roof shingles, as, as well as our zip roof system. We'll take a flight up. As you can see here, one of the things you'll notice is all the large mature trees that we saved on the lot. It's critically important to place the home in a way that reduces the need to cut down trees, um, therefore preserving large mature trees that took forever to grow to that size. You'll see from the view you have now, we have our flat roof, flat roof up there at about an 812 pitch that will be perfect for our 40 solar panels. You'll also see the four skylights that we viewed a little earlier in the video sitting on top of the roof. Um, underneath our Certainty Landmark Pro shingles, we have our zip roof system, which is a waterproof roof system that's all taped um, it could be left without shingles on it for up to 60 days. Um, however, we did put shingles on it within three days of sheathing our roof. Um, thanks again for watching this video. Take a look back at our YouTube channel in the next coming weeks for our plumbing video, um, electrical, as well as low voltage that we'll be doing here soon. Thanks again.